What's good, y'all? So, today went a little bit different today. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm at the library doing my thing as usual. Let me get a, a video of his car real quick. So, I was at the library doing my thing as usual, right? And um, I'm editing and, you know, doing my little research and all that, right? And this cop, let me take a walk over here real quick. And this cop at the library who, uh, who, who basically roams the library, right? That's his job, right? To walk around and shit. And, um, now I normally, you know, observe my surroundings all the time, right? No matter what, it, who it is or whatever is going on, right? Don't matter to me, right? And um, I seen him come work at this library a couple of times, right? And I could see that he got a problem of with me, you know. Every time I look at him, he got a problem, and, you know what I'm saying? And it's and it's like <laughs> he don't want me to look at him, right? So today he chose to try and intimidate me, walk up on me, right? Because I looked at him, right? And I see it was getting to him every time I looked at him, right? And um, he thought I was some little dummy or something. He thought I was about to go give him the time of day and just wild out, you know what I'm saying? And get crazy. But <laughs> I shut this fool down, you know what I'm saying? I had to shut this idiot down. He looked like a clown. I made him do the walk of shame. Stupid ass, boy. That shit funny. He was embarrassed. He felt like shit. Now, the next time around, he came around to walk around. He didn't even look at me. His whole face started getting red. You know how they face get red real quick? You know what I'm saying? Bitch ass. Try to intimidate me and shit, thinking he, I'm going to get scared of his bitch ass or something. Funny ass dude, bro. That shit was funny as hell. Such a clown. But I got the clip. I'm going to show you all the clip after this. But um, So he woke up to me, right? Like he, uh, cause <laughs> it was so funny, but I don't think I recorded this part when he, he stopped doing his job just to come in and, uh, intimidate, try and intimidate me. All right. So, um, well, I'm just leaving right now. So I'm about to head to the store and try to get something to eat. Let me get right back with y'all. So like I was saying. So he left his doing his job, right? To come in and try and intimidate me, right? First he he did a little screw face. He he laughed like, what the hell is you looking at? Type shit, right? He gave me that type of vibe. And I'm I got my face dead on, straight on, I ain't laughing, none of that shit. You got me? And it got other people around me, which you'll see in the clip in the video. Alright? Um And he he wanna um he thought I was a clown or something, bro. Cause he thought I would have do something crazy or wild out or something, right? Because of the way he uh, he approached me. He thought I was stupid. I didn't know my rights, right? So when I started hitting him with that shit, all of a sudden he started, his face started getting red. All of a sudden he started, you know what I'm saying? You could see it on him, boy. Stupid ass. He was like, oh, uh, do you need assistance, sir? I'm like, he's, I, I was like, what you mean? I looked at him like he's dumb as hell. I was like, what you mean? He was like, the way you're looking at me, it seems like you need assistance. I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, I'm like, I'm like, so you're trying to tell me looking at you is a crime? He was like, no, but the way you look at me, you was looking at me is insinuating. I think that's the word he used. This is cop car right here. Bitch ass. Look at that shit. I got his name and his badge number. Bitch ass. But anyway, though, and uh, I also told him, uh, I was like, um, what? He was like, yeah, he was like, oh, you in, uh, the way you're looking at me is insinuating that, um, that you may need help. And that's not true. He just hated the fact that I was looking at him, right? He didn't like that shit. Bitch ass. So, um... When I said, is that a crime? He's like, no. Then he started backing up and shit. 
And then he started feeling embarrassed because the, uh, the other people around him. And I started hitting him with that shit. And then I was like, um, why you approach me for? I was like, why you approach me? Did I ask you for assistance? He was like, no. I was like, okay then, what's your name and badge number? And boom, he had to give me his name and badge number by law. So, um, he started breaking down from then, like you could see it. And then I was like, all right. I was like, all right, you dismiss. I don't need your help, bye. And he's like, uh, I think he said, what you say? Something like that, I was like, no, no, first I, First, I think I said, get back to, no, no, I said, you dismiss. And then he said, what you say or something like that. Then I was like, get back to work. I don't need your help. I'm done talking to you, right? And then uh, he still kept trying to talk and I was ignoring the fuck out of him. And I was recording him, right? Close up. And then, um, oh, when I said, get back to work, he was like, oh, I'm always working. I was like, no, you ain't. Cause I always see you on your phone, bitch. And then, um, he, he, he left after um, I was done with his retarded ass, right? And then um, a little few minutes after, I decided to go use the bathroom, right? So I could see if he's on his phone because he's always on his phone. All of them, every one of them who come and work there, they chill and they waste our money. They tax us. The government tax us our ch in our checks, right? That pays for their uniform, their, their van, their gas, everything. You got me? And they milk it and chill and be on the phone doing whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? Besides the fact <clears throat> besides the fact that they treat us like shit, right? Um, when they're supposed to protect and serve, right? They work for us. We don't work for them, all right? And we, we shouldn't have to be afraid of them trying to shoot us or beat us up or some shit, right? So that's why you always need to record and know your rights. That's the reason why he backed the fuck down. Otherwise, it could have been a whole different situation, bro. Literally, bro. He just didn't know what was about to hit him. He thought it would have been different, all right? Cause he probably see me with, you know, muscles and shit. So he probably thought I was gonna try and go back and forth with him and intimidate him. That ain't me, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's either we gonna get it in or we gonna deal with it a different way. Like, I'm not gonna go back and forth with the arguing shit. That's what he thought was gonna happen because he kept trying to go back and forth with me, right? And that's when, when I done, when I was done saying what I had to say and I told him get back to work, get dismissed, he didn't like that, boy. He felt so embarrassed because the other people around was hearing everything, right? And plus, the way I was dealing with his ass, I was calm too. You're gonna hear it in the, in the, uh, in the, in the video, in the clip, right? And I was calm. So he couldn't say nothing about, oh, disorderly conduct and no dumb shit. He couldn't charge me with shit if there was a problem, which there were no problem. He approached me talking about, oh, it seemed like I need assistance the way I looked at him. Like, what? I looked at my surroundings every fucking way I go, no matter what the fuck's going on. Like, what are you talking about? Like, like is he retarded? He, got to, he definitely seemed like he was a racist-ass bitch, bro. But anyway, so, yeah, they, they that's what they do with our taxes. They... When you get taxed from your paycheck and you don't get the full amount you work for until the end of the year and shit like that, that's what they do. And they then they come and beat your ass up. Then they come and give you a ticket. Still, for doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? You working, all right? You're supposed to be doing your job. Everybody else in the library, I'm sure, looked at you before, dumbass. Everybody, I'm sure, looked at you before in that library more than one time. But you gonna walk up to me and try to intimidate me, bitch? And without that gun, he ain't got no chance. No chance, bro. No chance. And that's the thing with them. That's the only reason why they try to intimidate you uh, because they got the gun. You understand me? He's, he's so, bro, he, bro, he, but anyway, bro, but today went different, bro. I wasn't expecting that, but Thank God I was always ready, you know? Thank God I stay ready. I, I, I learned my uh, my constitutional rights and, you know, I don't know all of it yet, but I'm learning every day, every day, every day. Just like how I learned that in public and in public buildings that the taxpayers, who is we, the people, me and you who's viewing this, uh, could record in public and uh, it's your constitutional right, all right? And Damn, my camera getting hot in the sun. So, basically, he couldn't tell me I couldn't record him or nothing. I got him right up in the face. He wasn't expecting that. I pulled the camera out right when he woke up on me, too. 
I wish I was able to get it when he stopped doing, doing his work just to come and try to press me, just to come and try to intimidate me, thinking he was gonna get a different reaction out of me or something. Like how he, they probably get with other people who just shut up and listen to them and all this dumb ass shit, like fuck out of here, bro. If I'm breaking the law, that's understanding. But I ain't breaking no fucking law. Matter of fact, I'm minding my fucking business, doing my fucking, doing what I gotta do. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm minding my business, editing and doing my thing like I normally fucking do. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't bothering nobody, I never do. I focus and do me. The only thing I do is lift my head up to make sure and watch my surroundings all the time. I pay attention to what the fuck is going on around me. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? But either way, man, he got fucking served, boy. I made him do the walk of shame and all that shit, boy. All that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That shit, that shit be, be feeling so good when he a dirty-ass cop. Because I ain't saying all cops is fucked up, but some of them are. The ones that, that are dirty, I don't give a fuck. I don't like them bitches at all. You trying to tell me, bro, you left your job, bro, right? To come and ask me what the fuck... I'm looking at you for like what the fuck is you talking about bro like you that shit don't make sense to me bro that shit don't make that sound to me like some like some gangster shit like some gangbanging shit like you going you a gangbanger for real cuz you ain't no other type of person especially a cop should should walk up to somebody and just because they look at them bro just because you look at them I didn't break no law nothing bro I didn't even see that one coming. Thank God I was prepared. My camera was always ready, charged up for any type of situation. So I got proof. You know what I'm saying? That bitch know what it was. What's your name and badge number? Boom. When I started hitting that bitch with that shit, so he was like, you could see his face started getting red already. And then he said it. So I got it on on uh, on file. You know what I'm saying? So he gonna remember me. And now when I... Uh, when I w was walking downstairs to use the bathroom, he got go off. He got off his phone real quick, quick. And I think I caught when I was leaving the library. I think I caught him on his phone. But I'll show the clip. I don't know if y'all be able to see it, but you'll see. You know what I'm saying? You let me know if you could see it. But man, now when now when he passed by to do his rounds, this bitch ain't looking at me at all. That's how it's supposed to be. Do your fucking job, bitch. We gotta go to work and bust our ass, right? And then get taxed out of our check, right? All right then, bitch. That's just how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Besides that, I'm cool. I don't bother, like I said, I don't bother nobody. I don't get in no problems with nobody, no cops, no nothing. With the law at all. But you ain't gonna take advantage of me, bitch. Like, you ain't gonna take advantage of me and the people at all. I am the people. Like, we, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on, bro? This shit is... That's what, that's what, man, you guys gotta know your rights, bro. You don't know your rights, they're gonna, they're gonna destroy, they're gonna walk all over you, man. They will walk all over you. That's what he tried to do. He tried to embarrass me in front of the people who was around, and he, and it backfired on his stupid ass. Dumbass. That shit was hilarious, boy. And I, and every time he come to the library and work there, he always was looking at me as funny and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was just waiting, bro. But the thing is, though, he probably thought I would have made the first move. I ain't got no reason to because just by me looking at this clown was killing him. I could see it. Like, he he's one of them idiots. He got to prove himself type shit. Just because I'm looking at this bitch, bro. That was crazy. But anyway, man, I'm going to show you all the clip after this. And um, I'm about to get something to eat. So I'm going to see y'all when I get in the store. What's your name and badge number? Deputy George Rasmussen. Okay. ABN two five six. Appreciate four. that. Appreciate that. Do you need help? Because you were insinuating the way you were looking at me. You need help. No, I think okay. you're assuming. You're okay. dismissed. I don't need no help, sir. Okay. Well, you have a good day. You too, man. I've been having a good day. I was busy, actually. I'm sorry. I was busy. No, working. you were staring at me. I could do that. Yeah. That's not. That's not a. That's not a. Um, a crime. No, but it makes me think you want my attention. So I gave you my really? attention. Really? Yes. Well, now you're dismissed. I don't need your attention. You don't need my attention? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Well, you have a good day, man. I've been having a good day. All right. Get back to work. I'm going to make this known for future occurrences. When you're staring at me, do you not want my attention? The next time I walk up here, you don't want my attention? 
Okay. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desire of the Lord that will I seek after. That will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing. Yeah, I will sing praise unto the Lord here, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou, when thou say it, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. That was a Psalms of David. For those who needed to hear that, you know, I don't know who, who needs to hear that, but you know, the spirit was moving. I had to read my Bible after that little encounter because I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, get un... Like, I ain't going to lie, I was a little annoyed. You know what I mean? It was, it was, you know, I had to pray and I fasted all day. I didn't eat nothing all day. And uh, I'm going to eat a little later, probably like around 8 after 7-ish. And... Um, don't mind my hair though. I just did that just to uh, let it grow quicker because I got somebody who's going to do it for me and um, I just want it to be a little longer. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to, before I go to her house and everything, I want to make sure it's a little longer. But yeah, so yeah, man, it, today was was different man my days are not normally like that but boy but whatever though man i'm hungry i'm starving uh i'm gonna see how when i get in the store i don't know what i, I gotta figure out what i want to eat i don't know but it gotta be something heavy though i'm starving today and i hit the gym last night it was a good session i can't lie yeah it was a real good session uh I haven't edited that vlog yet. That's the vlog I was doing when I got interrupted by the cop and all that. So I didn't finish. I just basically put it together. I still got to cut and delete and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm going to post that vlog before this vlog. So you won't see that this vlog until 
after that vlog's posted because it takes time to download and all that stuff plus it's the weekend so tomorrow is the last day for the library to be open and then it's back and then sunday i'm back at the gym or whatever else i get into but it's majority of the time it's back it's on the grind you know what i'm saying i don't really try to stray away too much i know i should probably take a break here and there but i don't really feel like i deserve one right now i feel like i need to keep putting in work you know what i'm saying but uh yeah i'm gonna see y'all later when i get in the store or something What's good, y'all? So we up in this mother... About to get me some food to eat. I don't know what I want to eat yet. I think I'm getting, uh... I think I'm getting some, uh... I think I'm eating some tuna tonight, man. I need to take a... I need to take a detox anyway, so I think I'm getting some tuna tonight. Yeah, I think I'm getting some tuna tonight for sure. So, yeah, that's the vibe right now. I need some bags, bro. I need some mother in bags of this. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. Yo, these bags, they run out like. Fast as fuck, bro, I swear. So, I'm gonna go get my um my avocado. Cause I like to put my avocado and my tuna and mayo, and I need a lemon. All right. Don't use the regular lemons. Use key limes, guys. The ones with seeds in them. All right. Don't forget. Use the lines with seeds, zenum. Seeds, seeds, zenum. They sell the key lines in a whole like bag, and I don't need all them limes, so um, I, all I need is one for one pack of tuna. And then I get my avos. I need those and my tuna, cause they go real good with the tuna. I ain't gonna lie to you though. No kizzy. But the problem is to find one that's ready for right now, though. That's the problem. Trying to find one that's ready for tonight. But they mostly at the bottom, though. So, yeah. I think I found one. These are, like, they kind of over good, uh -huh. though. Yeah, they yeah. They're good enough to probably wash your hair or something. But not to, yeah. This one's, this one's decent, though. Appreciate you, though. But yeah, uh, so I got my avos, well my avo, and I got my my lemon. So now my bad. So now I'm gonna go get um my tuna and my motherfucking raisin bread. You heard? You heard? And I'm gonna get a snack or two because I'm gonna go do a detox when I'm done with this. See what I'm saying I need to because I've been eating. You know, or I've been eating bad, so I'm gonna be real. You know what I'm saying? As I'm always is, I've been eating, I've been eating off, so I need to do a nice detox. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go do like a, buy like a grape fast, like a 24-hour grape fast or something. I guess I don't know. But uh, yeah. So I like this flavor, as you guys know if you've been paying attention. With the raisin bread or the English muffins. They're both unhealthy. All this, what I'm eating here, except the, the avocado is unhealthy. All right, just giving y'all a heads up, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be real with y'all, so, you know, don't just go ahead and eat it. Excuse me, appreciate you. Don't just go ahead and, and you know, follow things if you don't know, you know what I'm saying? The, the facts, you know what I'm saying? I'm just eating this because I feel like eating it. I'm not eating this because it's beneficial because it's not at all, I promise you it's not. The only thing is the healthy fats, which is the eyeballs, that's it. Nothing else, you know what I'm saying?
but uh yeah the, the healthy breads is the amaranth bread and um forgot the other i always forget the other name of the other bread but uh if you want information on healthy breads just hit me up send me an email or something you know what i'm saying but what i'm doing i'm just doing this for taste and because i like it that's it it's either gonna be this one which i'm not gonna get today or it's gonna be the raisin bread but i don't see it though the one i like i think i got the last one the last time oh no here it is right here boom so that's that I think I got May already, but I might pass and get some little packets because I'll be getting those little free packets. I mean, I don't have to buy a whole thing of mayo because I don't need a whole, you know what I'm saying, bottle of mayo because I'm not eating tuna every single day. You know what I'm saying? At one point, I probably did, but but uh, I'm not anymore. Though. Damn, I'm gonna need water though. Damn, I hope they got my water, bro. Let me see if they got my water. Nah, I don't see it. I already don't see it. Oh, yeah, they got it. Now, this also is uh, not all the way healthy because it's in a plastic bottle. It is BPA certified, but it's still not healthy. It should, you should get the one in the um glass bottle so get the um get the this natural spring water in the glass bottles all right don't get the plastic bottles they aren't healthy they're not healthy that plastic ain't healthy at all but uh so yeah we eating the snacks about to grab a snack real quick and it's the weekend so you know whatever but when it's when you know when monday gets back here back on it again as usual i like these a lot these are good too i haven't had those in a long time i think that's about it see yeah, i'm gonna just chill with that man and I ain't gonna lie, I be overdoing it sometimes, bro. No cap, cap. Excuse me. Yeah, I be um, I be overdoing it though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I got the cookie, but then I want some chips. But the thing is with me is like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna just go all out and then um. I'm gonna do my detox and you know what I'm saying? Refresh my whole system and all that. That's how I am. Cause I know once I do the detox, I'm gonna be off of the unhealthy stuff for a little bit. You know, balance, you know what I mean? That's what I'm about. And um, you know, by the time I eat it again, it's gonna be uh, out of my system. You know what I'm saying? Basically. So. But yeah, that's about it, man. So I'm just, that's good, man. But today been real interesting, man. Today been a crazy day, boy. With that, with that pig, that piggy at the library, man. He made my day, though. He gave me some decent content, though. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? That boy a hater. He a racist on some real shit. He a racist, bro. Ain't nobody else he told that to, bro. Who was looked at him? Ain't nobody else he told that shit to, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was just checking. I was just peeping to see. Because, I mean, they got mad people in the library. You know what I'm saying? And nobody else he told that shit to, bro. Like, no cap. No bullshit. And I ain't going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, though. But I'm going to, um... I'm gonna get back with y'all in a little bit. Let me uh, pay for these stuff and get my stuff situated. I ain't gonna lie, I was tempted to have a, a soda today, but I uh, don't know, I think I will though. Cause all I drink is water, water, water. 
so guys that's a wrap done deal done diggity deal i don't know if y'all can hear me with this cart this loud ass cart but hey um but yeah it was good man it was smooth i like when it's smooth when things go smoothly had a nice little talk with my cool friends that i made at walmart now i'm about to go chill out and eat damn bro like I ain't gonna lie, I had a good ass session last night. And <laughs> I'm gonna be back at the gym on Sunday. Damn, boy. You know what I'm saying? It was a cool night, man. It was a cool night. But I gotta get off my slacking, man. I've been really slacking with the with the uh, the diet, so I gotta I gotta get off the slacking. So, um, yeah, man, got what I need. Things were smooth, man. I ain't gonna lie, though. Man, I really, I'm really glad the Most High God was with me today and every other time he is, because I'm just thinking about how worse the day could have been, man, because that cop was real ignorant, bro. I could see, like, he just wanted to do something bro and <laughs> and the thing is he i know he thought i was gonna give him the upper hand by just you know getting loud and going crazy i ain't gonna lie though back in the day i used to do that though i used to do that stuff back in the day so if it was back in the day i definitely would have done it i know i would but uh i'm so glad i learned over the years how to deal with situations like that but that's because i gave my life to god though that's literally the only reason because i gave my life to god because i was never that calm ever in my life bro my boy back down boy i mean it's either that or he would have lost anyway he would have had to do the walk of shame anyway because if i had requested his supervisor it would have been a wrap He would tell his ass to keep it moving because you don't just walk, step to somebody and tell them, especially if you're a cop, any other civilian, it's whatever, even though it's still not right. If you're a cop, you're not supposed to step to know nobody in the public, all right, and uh, ask them if they need help because they staring at, well, not staring, but they looked at you. Like, what? Man, that shit's just got me like wow bro now i understand why why my brothers be getting shot out there man i ain't saying they perfect either but them cops is boy wow that boy was ready he looked like he was ready to do something and he wanted to embarrass me so bad i hope y'all could see me but i know y'all could hear me but i he wanted to embarrass me so bad bro like He wanted to embarrass me so bad with the people around me because he was just waiting to see what I got to say. Because I can see he's trying to uh, gas me. Like he's trying to see, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, it's whatever, man. It's a wrap for that fool. He ain't getting no more shine. I just wanted y'all to see so y'all could know that, you know, when you run into these things, man, you need to learn your rights, bro. If you don't learn your rights, you are done, bro. You are done. He could charge you with anything. And if you ain't got a camera on him, he could lie and say you did anything on that report. Anything. And the judge, it's your word against his. Now, this cop can't because I got him on camera. You understand me? And um, so if I was to get charged unlawfully, it'll be dropped. Because the proof is in the pudding. And they got witnesses around. So, hey, it's whatever, man. It's whatever. And I caught that hoe on his phone, too. But it's whatever, though. Just know that I love... And I appreciate y'all. It's love and respect until somebody wanna take it there. You know what I'm saying? But um, smash that like button, turn on the post notification bell. I'ma go eat and enjoy the rest of my night. You know what I'm saying? And I'ma see y'all on the next video. Peace.